Kind of nosy out here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, the blades. Uh-oh. Oh no, we've come to the end. Oh, beastly. Seaview Gardens here in Foxton. This area was known as Ferry Hill once as a ferry crossed the Manawatu River, enabling travellers on the Wellington to Whanganui stagecoach to cross the river here at Foxton. From Ferry Hill to Seaview Hill and now Seaview Gardens thanks to the planting of the gardens. Whew. Look at that! <laughs> okay, so you can see the windmill. <laughs> okay. Fires destroyed most of the main street in the early 1900s, so the water tower was constructed in 1923. Today, the tower provides a base for cell phone apparatus. What's that? Dickens? Oh no! You don't have to stop that. I don't understand that language. Oh heck, what did I see over here? Safe talk group. Oh, how lovely. Okay. Robert, oh there you are. It's down here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> the Manawatu had large areas covered in flax, so flax mills were developed and turned into a lucrative enterprise, making ropes, sailcloth and fishing nets. At its peak, 50 mills were working within a 20 kilometre radius of Foxton. The flax was brought down the river to the mills along the riverbank. In the 1840s and 50s, Europeans settled on this site, then known as Te Awaho. Not until 1866 did it become known as Foxton, the gateway to the Manawatu. And in 1859, the first steamship sailed up the Manawatu River. She was called the Wagga Wagga. My twin sister now lives in Wagga Wagga in Australia. <laughs> anyway, sand drifts across roads was a big problem for Foxton, well into the 1920s, where a visiting journalist from Wellington dubbed the town Sandopolis. The wide main street of Foxton originally accommodated tramways and railways running down the middle. Centennial. Time capsule. <laughs> Oh, 
friend. Go and have a look at this. Ooh, cool beans. De Molin. Oh, Cafe de Molin. Nice colour. De Molin was completed and officially opened on the 13th of April 2003. Plans and specifications were obtained from the Netherlands to make De Molin, and apart from alterations made to conform with New Zealand building codes, an exact replica of a 17th century Dutch corn mill was made. In the mill, mills maize, rye, organic wheat, buckwheat and triticale, whatever that is. Okay. The downstairs shop stocks Dutch cheeses, deli meats, cakes, biscuits, Dutch licorice and New Zealand souvenirs. Here you are. Still make flour to this day. Huh. That's a big swing. Oh, up high. Okay, and one more. Third level. Oops. <laughs> they are steep stairs. <laughs> Now, this must be how to get out on the deck. Let's have a look. It's kind of nosy out here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, here's the blades. <laughs> Where did you say you were going to be, Bobby? Oh, there you are. There we go, I did it. Mill and Dutch market. All Saints Church was built in 1876 on this land with the condition that the grave of the young chief Pationa 
be maintained, and this obligation is still being carried out today. Says welcome. Why are you shut? Well, these ones are still out. Tansy's finished. I've got these stained glass windows. It said to look inside, and I can't. Oh, what's behind? One grave. Saints Rose Garden. Vincent. Oh. The first parade was held in 1916. The picture of this parade is walking by Darcy Ball's hairdresser shop. Darcy Ball is the father of 1931 All Black Nelson Kelly Ball and the grandfather of Murray Ball of Foot Rot Flats fame. What does that all mean? It's a new world. White's Hotel. The White's Hotel burnt down in 1919 but was rebuilt. And in 2002, when the Foxton New World took it over, they kept the facade of the old hotel. Oh look at that! That is gorgeous! Foxton Little Theatre was once St Andrew's Presbyterian Church and is the oldest building in the town which opened in 1867. It was used as a church until 1970 then the Little Theatre took it over. <laughs> oh here's another picture. Oh. Is that that church? Cool. Oh, look at these. How lovely. In 1950, Dr. Howard Tippett bought the doctor's practice and was there for 43 years until his death as a result of a home invasion in 1993. He was well respected in the town and went out of his way to serve his community by doing regular house calls and accepting produce or duck or white bait instead of money when his patients couldn't afford it. <laughs> Thanks for the lick. <laughs> <You're> gorgeous. <laughs> Licked my hand. <laughs> Ihakara Gardens. Ooh, neato. This cemetery is the oldest used by Europeans in the Manawatu. The Tiawaho village graves are of noteworthy Maori and Europeans, and both races lie buried together in ground given by Maori to the Foxton citizens. Kiriopa. And who's that? Oh, it says it's a cemetery. There it is. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Oh, it is. Look at them all. Yeah, oh, my. Lovely. The old cemetery became neglected over the years and pine trees began invading it. And thanks to the Foxton Beautifying Society, the shaping and grassing of the hill, and the laying of footpaths and shrubs, the old cemetery became Ihikara Gardens. Early photographs show picket fences around burial sites, where now there is no sign of these burial sites at all. This photo in 1922 shows the memorial to the fallen soldiers in place but no water tower and no picketed burial sites of the 1878 photos. Oh, two herald. Oh wow. Okay. 
What's he looking at? Oh, look at this gas lamp. The lamp lighter lost his job when electric lighting was installed in 1925. The worst year for fires in Foxton was 1912, and in June of that year, 14 buildings were destroyed. Then, a month later, 10 more premises met their fate in another blaze. White's Hotel escaped these 1912 fires, but succumbed to a 1919 fire. So, a bylaw was passed to only having a brick building precinct in the main street. Foxton Pool. Oh, it's upgrading. Oh, it's different. What does it do? Oh! Oh no! It's coming out there. That's different as. Piri Hara Keke Walkway. Super! Waharoa carvings. I'm guessing that's those. There's more on that s no, there's none on that side. Fine, oh look at this, through a forest. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Foxton. Piriharakeke means where the flax clings to the land. Floods would often sweep the plants away and Piriharakeke gives hope that the flats will again take root and grow. This is so lovely! It's certainly not like the forests we just drove through, eh Bobby? Those forest trees trees this thick that just snapped in that wind. Cyclone Gabriel. And forests like this, wasn't it? There's one tree uprooted. But that was heaps all chopped off. I was amazed. Where was it? It was Topo Rotorua, wasn't it? When we took picked up that thing from our boy. Window. Okay, it might do. Oh, is that that wakeboard thing? Oh, remember it says there's a wakeboard thing? Is that it there? Look at that, I was right. Off the loop, wakeboarding. See? I was correct, it is this, and I'm just being nosy and hope to goodness no one's here. It's gonna yell at me. It's rough in the wind today. Yeah, hey. There we are. Got an idea of what the heck it is now. One's here. Hi. Oh no, there's someone there. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's the aqua park over there. Here he is. Oh, you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was just having a look. Oh, yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun for the kids, doesn't it? I love that. Oh, I can be in teams too. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, man, for letting me do that. He's a lovely young boy. A huge seat. <laughs> oh, look at that. Really? Neat. <laughs> 
this anchor had been buried for decades and was only discovered by accident in 2015. It had been used as a mooring point for the boats on the river. Some history. That house. There was a murder there. I heard it on True Crime New Zealand. Cattle were put into slings and swung out onto the ships destined for the meatworks, and often the town was stirred up when a beast decided it wanted a tour of the town. Foxton had a workforce of wharfies who were called on when a ship got into port. The workforce was called on six days a week and often the local sports teams were short of players if a ship had to be unloaded on a Saturday. A decision to make a cut in the river to tackle the flooding problems and cause better water flow created an island, Matakarapa. It didn't pan out the way they wanted it to. The loop in the river would gather large trees with every flood clogging up the area. Then low tide would find ships stranded waiting for the high tide to float them off banks. The island is now Foxton's sewerage ponds. In 1959, the Foxton line was closed, and when the last goods train left, locals brought a coffin down to the station, and the sign on the back of the train read, The End. The only remaining building left from the old port of Foxton. Wow. <laughs> Health risk. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll be aware of it. Oh look, oh, we've got a bit of river flying up. And the big waters, they got more here than we did back in Whanganui, we noticed. Where does that lead? Shall I have a look? Nothing. I think we'll stick down there, don't you? Yes. Uh oh. Oh no, we've come to the end. Oh, beastly. The river is still swollen. Oh man. Oh well. Maybe if we do go up that other path, will we? So we'll strike the water again. It's a possibility, because look, we could float away on the boardwalk. Whoa. Yeah, here it is. We've come to the end of it already. Okay, from over there to here, and the table, yeah it does look flooded doesn't it, yeah, still, still flooded hey Bobby, from what, over a week ago, we got nothing like this did we, back home, 
I'll go up just to show what that is. What do you think it is? Another water tower. Yeah? Oh, there it is. That was it. Hi. Oh, bye. What's that say? Ti Warangi Foxton Surf Life Saving Club. Foxton Beach. Hey, kids, ride the waves, not the dunes. Beach access, beach is a road. You can't get a car past here. Not today. Okay, well that's Foxton Beach. <laughs> Heaven. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. Where are you frogs? No, I can't see any. What a shame. Long time of the day. Oh, no frogs. But you're the ducky ducky. smaller version. Oh, go in the wind. Yahoo! Where does this lead? Into the forest. Possibly a mountain bike track. Didn't specify. This is out at Foxton Beach. Oh, that's nice. Through the forest. It would be lovely, but I don't have my walking shoes on once again, so I might be back. Park here in Foxton. There we are, done.